Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube The General. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on why Kobe left Adidas for Nike and in doing so, an iconic symbol in partnership with the company with the swoosh was made. I want to first thank you all for the love you've been showing on the community tab. I'm glad YouTube made that feature available to more creators. It's a great way to stay connected even when a video isn't going up. But for the videos that have gone up, check them out. The last couple of ones got a player analysis on James Harden and much much more make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video for more topic tackle coming soon and leave your feedback in the comments down below i want to hear what you have to say about this one kobe bryant black mamba nike it's all synonymous to the reality we know but what if that never happened and the brand with the three stripes created kobe's basketball shoe line well it was happening from 1996 to 2003 well, not quite 2003, but you'll see why in a moment. Sonny Vaccaro, key in getting LeBron James to Adidas, almost. Check out my video on that. Was key in getting Kobe to sign with Adidas, though. His job was to make sure that the Lakers somehow ended up with Bryant in the 1996 draft, which he did by spreading rumors that Kobe would play in Italy if the Nets took him. Jerry West managed to trade for Kobe from the Hornets, and Bryant signed a six-year, $48 million deal with Adidas. From high school to the pros, getting an NBA contract and huge shoe deal must have been crazy. Eight? Get it? Because Adidas crazy eight shoes? No? Okay, I, I just need to stop with the puns. Stop it. Except remember how I told you that Adidas didn't quite make it to 2003 with Bryant? Well, that happened because they quite simply failed big time with the Kobe 2. Their intentions might have been good. I mean, they were implementing futuristic styles that are now thriving in today's market like the Kobe, now known as the Crazy One. It's a lifestyle shoe now, inspired by Kobe's first Adidas silhouette. But back in 2000-2001, the Kobe 2 just crossed the line. It was made in collaboration with Audi and inspired by the German car makers TT Sports Car and is now known as one of the worst bricks in footwear history as no one wanted to buy them and they ended up in Adidas outlets months after release. According to GQ.com, it's not fair to say that the Kobe 2 caused Kobe Bryant to jump ship at Adidas in favor of the swoosh, but in 2001, it was rumored that even he thought they were ugly and horrible, which caused them to switch back to the slightly better Kobe 1 during the NBA Finals that year. I think the craziest part about this whole story is that Bryant reportedly paid $8 million after the summer of 2002 to get out of his Adidas contract, but had to wait until 2003 to sign with another brand due to stipulations in the contract. So 2002-2003 was a legendary season for sneaker lovers because one of the league's greatest players had no shoe contract and could wear whatever he wanted every night. Some of the shoes that Bryant wore during this contractless year are on the screen now and after the wait was up, Bryant signed a four-year $40 million deal with Nike at age 24. Even though McDonald's and Nutella were quick to drop Bryant from their celebrity endorsers list after his time in court, Nike obviously hung in there and on February 17th, the brand is re-released releasing his first signature shoe, the Nike Zoom Kobe 1 Pro Tro, also known as a performance retro. It will feature the same aesthetic as the original in 2005, but consist of updated technology built in, like a full-length Zoom airbag in the midsole. Adidas basketball made some big mistakes in the past, losing Kobe in his prime, LeBron before his first NBA game, and Jordan, but I think you can see the progress now, and I'll be covering that soon. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is Kobe's shoe line the greatest of all time? Why or why not? Remember to subscribe, like, leave your feedback in the comments down below. We'll be back with more more topic tackle soon. JC3 out.